any attention. Yeah, me and Tuna were saying that before you got here. We were saying that there's a lot of opportunities for this to go wrong. The bag could split, the diamonds could go missing real easy. That's why we're going to be extra careful, right? We wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Of course not. You know how pissed Ray would get if he found out some diamonds were missing? He has a temper. Are you fucking kidding me? The manager of one of his waste depots was holding out our profits a couple years. This is the other one, Tona. Grab it. Looks like we got company. Crap! Someone's got wise to it. Let's get the hell out of here. Drive to Fish Market South. This truck is not really going to outrun anybody. It. You're just gonna have to do your best, ain't you? We're not losing this ice. I'm not having Ray cut my balls off because you don't think this truck's fast enough. I didn't say it was impossible. It's just going to be difficult. Hey, hey, hey! I need a can of scrum. Take him out, Spaz! Come on! We don't want none of those bags to break, Nikki. Game news, get back here! Shit, Nikki! Lose these fucks! They ain't on us no more. Good driving. Now all you got to do is bring the ice home safe. This is it. You got us here, Nikki. Good driving, Nikki. I thought I was going to be checking out for sure. How'd they find us? I thought that we went through all this trouble so no one would know. I don't know. These diamonds are serious. Anyone who heard of them would want them. I ain't surprised we get a bit of attention. You want me to take the ice to raid them? Nah, me and Tony will look after them. Sort them out from the trash. I sure hope we ain't lost any on the route. Things got shaken up pretty good back there. They sure did, Luca. Here's hoping we can find them all. See you around, Nikki. Luke and this crew have got the stuff, Ray. It's all in the back of the truck. Will you keep an eye on them? They didn't pull nothing? I don't know, Ray. You don't trust them? Then weigh the ice. And we'll catch you around. I'm not gonna go. I'm your brother. I'm supposed to take care of my family. Hey! I'm beyond being taken care of now. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed a hand. <laughs> Looks like you'll need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. <sighs> hey! Ah! Wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake! I was just wishing you'd leave. Hey, hey, sit down. That's pretty good gear. 
I'm pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. <clears throat> because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? <coughs> it stops you caring. Which is even better. <coughs> so. What do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. People who used that to steal shit off me. Huh. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about. And when they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean... I ain't a saint. I ain't a man of principle. I... I messed up. But... I tried. I made a mistake! But I admitted it! We all make mistakes. Exactly! And this guy is still threatening to kill me and my family! What's his name? Uh, uh. Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Find the fuck. Shut him and his pals up. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, his pals up. Apparently, your guy hangs out at the burger shop in the Alderney. Go check it out. Let's make sure his boys are there. I want them all to pay. What if he's alone? Keep the police car. He'll see you and think you're taking him down. First thing Bucky will do is run back to his crew. Fucking coward! He'd rather everyone go down than him take them all alone. Sold me out, didn't he? I guess he did, man. I'll tell you when it's done.
shit, Bucky. It's the cops. Got your bodies. with me. Nico, my boy. Good to hear your voice. To speak to you, I mean. Derek, you okay? Bucky and this boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Bucky dead? <laughs> Good. Yeah, a lot. But dead. It's all the same, though, isn't it? Living, dead, 
good, bad, right, wrong, chalk, cheese. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. No one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches working for guineas, working for niggas. Any asshole with a buck? A whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible. And remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. <sighs> but I got a plan. You down, friend? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Thing will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. <laughs> exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Inchin Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. Another happy customer. Why are you always picking on the Cubanos? So, Jerry, I got this bomb. All right, listen. The Ancelotti's and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. Now, you put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of their crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy. I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system, and besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done.
Did you kick some ass or what? The Albanians know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it. 